Hi, welcome to Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this Vanco Digital Photo Frame. This company did send me this unit to review. Some of the highlights on the box, touchscreen, auto brightness, built in 16 gig storage. You can use it with a smartphone app, auto rotates, and 1080p. Let's see what else is available. So for their app, they have the apps for both iOS and Android devices. All right, let's open this up. Here's the frame. Before I get to the frame, let's look at what else came in the package. This looks like it'll be a kickstand. This is the power adapter. It is universal. Inputs at 100 to 240 volts. Outputs at 5 volt, 2 amp. That's a proprietary type of connection. Here's the user manual. If you want to read any part of the user manual in more detail, feel free to pause the video. With the kickstand, I can orient this either landscape or portrait mode. Goes over information on how to join the Wi-Fi, how to set the mobile app, This will accept images on SD card or USB drive. You can also play video too. Nice. Besides showing pictures, it can also grab your location and show the weather too. Uh, here are the specs for it. And lastly, we got the troubleshooting guide. I don't think there's anything underneath this. Nope. So here's the photo frame. Nice border. The on the back, DC for power, USB. This is the micro USB, USB type A over here, and then the SD card slot. Power button, if I want to mount this on a wall, you can use one of the, like, the monkey hooks or a screw. This part is for the, the little leg that came with it. And it also looks like if I want to remove this foxwood type of uh, border, I'm able to. Over here looks like the light sensor. Let me first orient this. There's only one angle for this. The power cable is roughly five feet in length. Here's the first power up. First power up took roughly 20 seconds or so. Remove this protector.
just logged in. Now it's asking you to sync with the frame. Your frame ID can found in the settings page. Let's see if this is my frame ID. Four. Three, six, nine, eight. Uh, let's just call this one family. Select the device I want to share with. On top it says Oprah Hamster sent you sent photos to you. All right, looks like I need to power cycle this. By power cycle, all I did was unplug the power and then plug it back in. Let's try the check button again. Okay, this time I loaded. Let's go to our settings, frame ID, user, Wi-Fi information is right here, frame, screen auto on off. I can set the on time off time and have a repeat based on days of the week. Sound, I can adjust display brightness, or just have it be auto. Time and weather, sure. It's also got a motion sensor. After people leave for five minutes, the device will automatically turn to sleep mode. Then there's a the date time. All right, storage, factory reset. And here's the about page. Here's a photo section. What came from friends, what was marked favorite, what was private. Let's go back to auto. The quality is really good. So this, this is not mine. This is a, uh, a stock photo. Let me delete the stock photo. Nice, it automatically rotated. Currently by default, every five seconds, it switches to the next image. This frame has good field of view, different transitions from one image to another. For videos, there is a 30 second limit. It's like this video that's an over a minute. It's not going to allow me to upload it. So let's pick one that's 30 seconds or less. Let's try this one, 24 seconds. Okay, so it plays the video with sound too. My kids record this. The things I look for in the photo frame are brightness, image quality, field of view. Those three are must haves. And this satisfy all three of them. Nice border. It's bright, very easy to use. I can upload photos using the traditional method of flash drives or an SD card, or just send it sent to this from my smartphone. Now, the built-in storage is 16 gigs. That is pretty decent in size. The power cord is a bit short though. It's just five feet in length. I can always use an extension cord, so there's ways around that. Overall, this is everything I'm looking for in a photo frame. I like this, and I would recommend it. I'll place the link to this item below. Thanks for watching this video.
If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.